Hey, after Ikea tomorrow, you want to go see Margaret Cho at the Beacon? Oh, boy. Uh, Oprah? Yes, Gail? I think we need to take a break. Is this because I wanted to submit us for the Amazing Race? Because I was 80% joking about that. No, it's... You know, I said I'm not into chasing straight girls. And I kind of think that's what's starting to happen here. So, unless you're ready to make a big life change, I need to move on. Find my Stedman. I thought I was Oprah in this metaphor. Also, you're gay, so that's a little confusing. You should say, like, my lady Stedman. Okay, I'm going out on a limb here. Okay, sorry. Um, it's just, uh, if I try to imagine us being together, I think... Yeah, okay, this could be fun, you know, picking out furniture and uh, making flower beds out of old railroad ties. But the thing is, if I'm gonna be with someone, it has to be a guy. You sound pretty sure about that. What can I say? I love a bald spot and a hairy back. You're alone there. I should go. I'll see you around. Okay, wait, Um, what if we made a pact? What if we say that in like 25 years, if neither of us has someone, we'll move in together and be roommates? And even though I am not into the sex stuff, if it helps you, I would let you do stuff to me. I can't be around you anymore. Bye, Liz. That's funny, that's what the guys always say. <laughs> Who's gonna go with me to cooking class next weekend? Well, if by cooking class you mean your bed, and by next weekend you mean oh, tonight. shut up. I can see your wedding ring. <laughs>